is god a mathematician a wonderful question as rightly said by edward frankel mathematics directs the flow of the universe lurks behind its shapes and curves holds the reins of everything from tiny atoms to biggest stars somebody has said beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder likewise beauty of maths lies in the equations which can decipher the language of mechanism at work in the universe sitting behind the desk we can find the distance between stars and planets as well as atoms we can also guess the mass of large planets to the mass of invisible atoms and molecules math is definitely the language of god as it can be used to study different rhythms and patterns in nature any master leaves his fingerprint and style of his presence in his work math is definitely the language used as we can see a pattern and numbers repeating itself one such example is fibonacci sequence discovered by leonardo fibonacci while recording patterns in the breeding of rabbits 12th century italian mathematician leonardo fibonacci was the first man to observe what is now known as fibonacci sequence which is a series of numbers inscribed throughout our world this series starts with two numbers 0 and 1 and to get the next number we keep adding the previous two numbers so if you add 0 and 1 you get 1 then if you add 1 and 1 you get 2 1 and 2 gives you 3 3 and 2 gives you 5 5 and 3 gives you 8 8 and 5 gives you 13 13 and 8 gives you 21 and so on and so forth guess what we see these numbers in all spheres of creation both as simple repeating patterns and as ratios and shapes in other words the fibonacci number is a clear mark of the designer that we can see shaping the nature surrounding us all of these petal arrangements follow the fibonacci sequence creating designs beautiful in their ordered perfection and revealing the fingerprint of god if we create squares using fibonacci numbers and place them edges into each other we get something called as golden rectangle If you connect the quarter circle of each square we get something called as golden spiral. Now you can see this golden spiral everywhere in this entire world. Our universe is filled with spiral designs. Tons of lifeless and alive things have spiral designs and they are not some random spirals. They have something in common. The ubiquitous constant ratio that is called as golden ratio. Surprisingly, this golden ratio probably is also a property of space and time. If you count the number of spirals in a pine cone in one direction it gives you a fibonacci number and if you count the number of spirals in the other direction you will again find the adjacent fibonacci number these divine spirals can be also found in the sunflower if you count the number of spirals in one direction and in the opposite direction you will find again the adjacent fibonacci numbers plants and flowers they really don't know mathematics so how does fibonacci sequence matters instead of merely making an interesting arrangement the sequence is necessary for the health of the plant the pattern allows each leaf to receive maximum exposure to sunlight and air without depriving another leaf of needed light or space the fibonacci design plays an essential role in the biosphere integral not only to beauty but to life itself look at your hand and fingers you will see fibonacci sequence you have two hands each of which has five fingers each of which has three parts separated by two knuckles the golden ratio can also be seen in the measurement of a different body parts the entire universe including our solar system as well as atoms dna and life forms reveals the secrets of balance rhythm proportion and unity and diversity the fractal interconnection of parts with each other and the whole this harmony is expressed by the key numbers which are mathematical which are nothing but fibonacci series phi pi and e so in all in all the language of god is mathematical language of numbers proportions and geometry so guys what do you think all these coincidences exist in our head or is it really true that god is using mathematical language to express the beauty and to maintain proportion amongst various life forms existing in the entire universe